Hi, I just wanted to shoot a quick video on Google Chrome and just go through some of the Bennett's and features that I particularly liked. Uh, this is the home page here. Uh, what you can see on my screen at the moment are the um, sites that I look at most at this particular stage. Uh, this does change of course, um, but you can actually pin them down and keep them here if you want to keep them. There's a pin here which means they will stay uh, on your home page if you want to actually physically keep them there. If you want to get rid of them you just press this square here and that will remove um, the thumbnail from your home page. If you wanted to change this view and you wanted to add it into a list view, you can change it into list view instead of thumbnail view. Um, so it depends on how you like to have it on your screen. I particularly like the thumbnail view because um, I find it easier to look at. So I have it like that. Um, the other unique feature of the Google Chrome is the Omnibox. Now, as we all know, you have the normal search box in Google and also you have the web browser box. This actually doubles up um, as your web browser box and your uh, search box. So if you wanted to search for something, um, so say we put something like, um, uh, dogs are great, and then I just press enter, it's gonna come up with information on pages um, on dogs. I didn't put a URL in there, I just used it as a search box. Obviously, if you want to uh, find a particular website, uh, we'll just do Google, it's going to bring up your normal website as, as you would if you're putting a URL in. Um, one of the other nice features of Google Chrome is the um, saving your bookmarks. It actually has two features here. The one feature is your normal bookmarks. I go back to the home page. Uh, these are my normal bookmarks, which I imported from Firefox. Um, basically, when you go to Google Chrome and you download it, they will ask you if you want to import your bookmarks from uh, Firefox. Um, so you can import your favorites uh, directly from there. Of course, when you're using uh, another browser and you, you'll have other websites that you're looking at, uh, you would also want to keep those and they have a unique fu function here where you can actually keep them on what is known as the bookmarks tab bar which is which is here I have a few here I have flipper uh, which is on its own and I also have folders uh, so you can put them into folders of um, bookmarks that you want to keep in a particular folder uh, so then you can cascade them down then into many different folders and they're on your bookmarks toolbar directly so you can look at them. So let's put, um, we'll just put dogs again, dogs are great, and I found this website here, dog information, so say for instance I want to keep this site, I think it's a great site, so I want to keep it, so I want to bookmark it, so I will hit the star which is right here next to the Omnibox. So bookmark this page and it'll come down with a drop down box here and then you can add that to your favourites um, menu there. So say for instance you want to have it in its own box and it's all, uh, on its own you've just decided you want to uh, start looking at uh, different sites on dogs so you will want to put bookmarks bar here. You will click this. and add a new folder. So this new folder is gonna go on the bookmarks menu there. So I'm just gonna put dogs and then hit okay. And then if we go back to the tab over here, as you can see, because this is my homepage, so you'll see it on your homepage tab. Uh, this one has the dogs and the URL that I was just looking at, or the page I was just looking at. So that's a particularly unique feature. And then of course, if I was looking at other sites on dogs, then I would put them inside this folder here. One of the other nice things is the way that they've organized the extensions within Google Chrome. Uh, you have the extensions area here. I've just typed in previously Google Chrome extensions. This is why I have this page here. When you're actually added in the extensions, you hit install after you found your favorite extension, whichever one 
uh, serves your purpose. You hit install. Once you've installed it, the uh, extension will then come up here into your view here, which is uh, nice and easy to see. And when you're actually installing it, they will show you the icon um, of what it looks like. So you'll be able to directly see and memorize what that is, which is a lot better, I think. When you're actually adding in the extensions, um, with Firefox, normally you would have to restart the whole system. With Google Chrome, uh, you don't have to do this. It's done automatically. And also when there are upgrades, the upgrades just happen automatically. So you don't have to restart um, and click upgrade each time something comes through. So that saves on time. The extensions then come up directly in, your, in the browser area. Uh, next to your browser box here. Um, I've put in some extensions here that I use. I've got here one which is the chromed bird. Uh, this is interface with Twitter. So if you want to make your uh, do your favorite tweets that comes up, which I think is quite a unique one. Um, here you can, you can mark it as favorite, you can reply to the tweet, you can retweet it, um, and you can you can share it. So, um, it interfaces quite well and it's directly there so then we're searching around and going somewhere else. Uh, also I have uh, Marshable in here for the social media uh, so that's that's quite good to have that one as well. So I have basically several here, I also have YouTube and it gives you um, this month's um, best YouTube of all time. Um, and uh, you can also search for videos so you can do this separately to uh, the rest of Google Chrome. A lot of this is self-functioning which I think is a wonderful idea. I know that Safari has uh, a separate browsing window. Uh, Chromebird has the same which is called the new incognito window. So for instance if you're looking at sites that um, you don't particularly want your children to see or sensitive sites um, then you can put them in here. Um, this basically means it won't be held in the history, uh, they're not cached, uh, they're completely separate uh, so it's separate to your normal browsing bar so that's a pretty good feature. Uh, as I was saying um, with the self-hosting you've got the tabs here so you can add in tabs, you can uh, obviously get rid of tabs and if, for instance, you're looking at um, something on YouTube and you have a, a tab open here with YouTube on it, I don't have it here, but if you had uh, YouTube here and the uh, video was crashing, it wouldn't crash the whole internet system. It's only going to crash that one particular tab. Uh, so you won't get that host not responding um, sort of message. You can just get rid of that tab and then uh, start again that's particularly good. If you wanted to uh, move one of these tabs around, you wanted to take it away uh, from the browser there and do some extra work on that, you can take it away and it is um, self-functioning, self-hosting, um, which is another uh, good feature. I'm just going to show you one more thing and that is the Google Chrome themes. I don't have a theme at the moment, I have the classical theme. Um, again, you just type in Google Chrome themes and it'll come up with the themes menu. These are very easy to apply. So for instance, I wanted uh, this one. You just uh, hit apply theme. It does, take, it does take a little bit of a while for the theme to uh, happen. Oh, there it is, very quick. Um, and then you have your theme there. So if I went back to the home page, there you can see your themes. So, well, I hope that's helped and um, I look forward to hearing from you. My uh, site, if you want to have a look at it, is www.rosetwyford.com. Okay, see you later. Bye.